Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And I continue with Painkiller Blind. I have reached chapter 2 out of 5, so this game shouldn't be that long, to be honest. Uh, and uh, what would I want to talk about right now? I guess. Uh, you know, the topic that lends itself quite nicely to conversation in this particular game is religion. Which, you know, some people would tell you that it's not the right thing to be discussing such an inflammatory topic. Um, but uh, b because, you know, of the, of the possibility of people uh, taking offense or whatever. But uh, I personally happen to think, okay, let me first consider where do I need to go uh, hmm. that didn't exactly help me uh, that did though um, yeah I, I personally don't really believe okay uh, actually I spoke too soon it didn't help me anyway. But but I'm supposed to go this way, so I guess it's kind of a physics puzzle of jumping on the crates. I don't personally believe in taboo topics. I believe every topic can and should be discussed. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I, likewise I don't believe in things that are beyond criticism, and certainly for me personally, there is much to criticize about religion. So the, the, the thing I wanted to talk about, which, you, you know, to be honest, the things I was talking about and the thing I will talk about now have less to do with religion actually as a societal concept and more with actual theology, uh, which, to be fair, it might be even more inflammatory for some people, um, but uh, I'm also dead, uh, which is a bit of a problem. The, the thing I wanted to talk about is the concept of original sin, mm, because that ties nicely with the introduction of a character uh, called Eve uh, in this game, which, you know, I have certain reasons to suspect that uh, she might be the original Eve that has damned us all uh, because of that whole apple debacle uh, in the Garden of Eden. Uh, so, uh, the, the, the concept... I have huge problems with the concept of original sin because, again, much like hell, the, the whole concept is a mockery of justice. Uh, like, you know, in, a, according, in accordance with Christian theology, we were all damned f for something that our forefathers did at the dawn of time. We, we, we had no choice in that, uh, and yet we still pay for it to this day. Because, you know, according to Christian theology, everyone is born besmirched uh, with the sort of mm, the taint of original sin, I'm not quite sure what is killing me. I, I guess I guess they are they are they're just shooting me, which it kind of looks in a bit of a disorienting way. Uh, okay, maybe I mean, maybe maybe I should stop smartassing the church and concentrate on actually playing the game at least for a little while because uh, I'm kind of getting my ass kicked. I really shouldn't be... I really kind of start to regret complaining about uh, 
the the overabundance of enemies. You know what? I will try that again. Uh, the overabundance of enemies that uh, just run at you because now uh, th this this stage is full of enemies that are shooting, and I'm suddenly getting my ass kicked pretty hard. Okay, that's even worse, just just kill me. Yeah, I, I really need to stop being a smart ass for a second and just c concentrate on playing the actual game because otherwise I will be trapped in eternal purgatory of not being able to leave the level on account of sucking too hard. Okay, so I can stagger them by shooting them, which is certainly worthwhile information, um, generally speaking, and something I should keep in mind. It's really not working out for me, is it? Okay, that, uh, that worked a little better. So, uh, coming back to the topic of Original Sin. Obviously, it's a monstrous absurdity to 
punish people, you know, for until the end of time for things that were done at the dawn of time, but by our forefathers that we had we had no impact on you know what the first humans did and whether they disobeyed God. And yet, according to Christian doctrine, every human who ever lived is like tainted with the with the taint of original sin and you ne need the sacrament at least according, according to catholics obviously i'm mostly familiar with catholic doctrine because in polish and catholicism catholicism is the uh, main pretty much you know the denomination of christianity uh, present in poland um, so uh, you require the sacrament of baptism to be cleansed uh, of original sin, and in fact, uh, it has been a topic of debate uh, for theologians. Uh, you know, for, for a really, really long time, since since the beginning of Christianity, really, uh, what happens to children uh, who die before they are baptized? I in fact, in in the very beginning. Uh, the, most theologians uh, thought, agreed, that uh, they go to hell. Which, you know, it's such an absurd... Like, y you need like half a second to, to think about it, uh, to, to decide that it's monstrously unjust, wrong, evil and demented. Uh, so right now I'm pretty sure the the sort of if you read the the catechism of the Catholic Church, uh, the answer you would get is that they they get landed in what's called limbus puerorum, which is like kind of like purgatory but a little less sad, uh, and that they will eventually be sort of rescued from there by the grace of God. Uh, uh, but but generally, you know, original sin is is a concept that makes no sense, uh, and it's another one of those things that, you know, uh, it, it it just feels wrong. It feels wrong to 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 worship a being who has judged me guilty at the moment of my actual birth f for things. That were done, you know, billions of years. Well, not not billions, I guess. You know, hundreds of. Well, to be honest, the timeline of the Bible doesn't really make sense because it doesn't. It doesn't really take into account the uh, the the the, the uh, existence of evolution. So I'm not quite sure uh, what a biblical scholar would tell you how how long ago Genesis was. You know. Some of the most hardcore creationists would tell you it was like six thousand years ago or whatever. Uh, but you know, uh, it's it's absurd to judge me guilty for something that my forefathers did at the dawn of actual time that I had no choice over, and uh, that uh, you know th that I had no direct involvement in, and yet I'm still affected by it. It's nonsense. And, uh, you know, that's even without getting the minutia of the fact that I consider the whole parable of the fall of men uh, to be deeply nonsensical in itself because of God's omniscience. Like, you know, God knows everything, so... and he can do everything. So, at the moment where he created humanity, he already knew that we are going to uh, commit the original sin and he will quote-unquote have to punish us by throwing us out of the Garden of Eden. 
So at this point, you know, all of the rest actually going through with it seems like a lot of empty steps to arrive at the fact that life sucks and is full of pain and whatever, which was supposed to be a punishment for, for the original sin. But he knew it's going to happen. He, he created the entirety of paradise and humanity uh, just so that we can fall and he can punish us. Like, you know, that seems a bit deranged to me. It, it's almost as if he, he, he enjoyed it. You know? He, he, he knew it's going to happen and he let it happen anyway. And you know, some, uh, to, 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 to be honest, th that, uh, that accusation uh, sort of extends to, to be honest, to, to every kind of sin, uh, not just the original sin, because God literally knows everything, so whenever a human is born, uh, he knows by necessity, he must know whether during the lifetime of that person we will commit enough sins to, 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 to warrant getting to hell. So, even though, you know, the, the Catholic Church mm, rejects the concept of predestination, it rejects the concept that we are born destined to hell or heaven, uh, because it clashes with the concept of free will. According to the Catholic Church, we each choose what we do during our, li our lifetime and according to that we, we get rewarded or punished so uh, getting landed in hell is the result of our own choices uh, but, but that doesn't change the fact that even if that's true that then God knows what's going to happen anyway so you know when you're born when he grants you your soul at conception, uh, he knows already if you're going to end up in hell. So there, th there is a multitude of people, in fact, some, some would say it's the majority of people, because I'm pretty sure the, the prevailing opinion among theologians is that, you know, the, the, the right path is, is sort of tough and narrow, uh, and the and the, the wrong path is is wide and easy. So okay, I'm actually, actually killed by a turret, which is pretty annoying. Uh, so most people maybe are going to actually end up end up in hell, but the actual number is irrelevant. What I mean is, uh, he knows it's going to happen. S certain people only live to end up in hell. Y y your, and, and God knows it uh, when he grants you your soul. So, th th again, to me, that's kind of pointless, isn't it? To, to, to just create, uh, you know, to, to grant uh, that soul to a newborn, uh, or rather to, to a fetus, I guess, at conception, uh, knowing that it's going to grow up to a person that ends up in hell, eventually, anyway. Like, it's just wrong to me, uh, because it's it's like to, it's it's like domination with extra steps. He knows you're going to end up in hell, but you still have an entire life to get through, uh, and you don't know that. So you know you are living with the hope. Uh, if if you're if you're a believer at least, uh, you are li living with a hope that 
you're going maybe to end up in heaven, but he knows it's false because he's omniscient. He, he knows everything. So I just I just can't get behind this. But you know that's also partially because I really think the very concept of hell is wrong in and of itself, which I talked about in the previous episode. Okay, this is kind of annoying actually. Kind of annoying indeed. <sighs> this might take a while, actually.
Okay, that was actually pretty tough. Uh, although mostly because of those turrets behind the windows, like, it was difficult to properly target them. Uh, It'd be nice if I didn't die, because I haven't reached the checkpoint yet. I still haven't found the use for gold. Mm, okay, the checkpoint is right here, which is actually pretty swell, if you ask me. Because I would prefer not to repeat that fight. I must say, bunny hopping in this game is extremely fun. And borderline kind of useful, at least in the uh, in the boss fight. health to be honest well, speak of the devil I guess It's getting pretty tough, which is not a good sign for me, because I've chosen the hardest difficulty and it's only like chapter 2 out of 5. clear I need to somehow disable the electric chair uh, to, to, to survive because it gives off lethal amount of, amounts of damage around it.
there is no crouching in this game. So I can't even like crunch underneath it. The, the, the only explanation of this is that there are invisibles, in, 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 invisible beams of lightning that kill me if I cross a certain threshold. What? What? What are you talking about? There's a turret here and I guess it only can target me when I get too far from the wall but the, the annoying thing about it is it doesn't even make a sound when it shoots me or if it does it's so... it's so uh, quiet compared to uh, the sound of the music Okay, that's pretty stupid, actually. Uh, like, that's that's absolutely my fault, and I apologize for that. But on the other hand, I also feel like, in a way, it is the, f the fault of the game for, for being kind of poorly designed. In a way. Oh, okay, this is literally the end of the level. Uh, okay, I unlocked a card. Replenish, double the ammo in the boxes. Uh, uh, it's pretty boring. Uh, opera house. Yeah, I think I'll put another level into this, because once I speed up all of the pointless running around and dying over and over in the same encounter, uh, then, uh, you know, should have enough time for one more. Although, you know what, I will leave this one a little bit shorter, maybe. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.
Okay, so apparently this level has ninjas. Well, we, if, if nothing else, you must admit that this game has quite, a, quite the enemy variety. Okay, so I, I finally figured out what the alternate fire mode on this does, which is apparently freezing enemies.
Uh, yeah, the, the, the highest difficulty might have been a mistake, actually. Okay, is there any health left? Because it's really getting kind of tough. The level, the level design is consistently rather nice, though. To admit that. Joker was here, okay.
Oops.
Yeah, that was a nice and short level. Like, for some reason, uh, this was much easier for me than the previous one. I, I guess maybe because this was more concerned with enemies that fight in melee. Mm, but anyway, this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to end it here. That's all for this one. I will see you in the next one. Bye.